Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how I did this makeup look. So let's just go ahead and get started. So first you're just going to need some scotch tape or well this isn't even scotch tape but you're just going to need some tape and then you're just going to apply this to like the outer corner of your eye so that we get that crisp and clean line and um, it helps if you put it on the back of your hand first so it's not as like like really stuck and like hurts your skin when it comes off and then I'm going to be using the Kat Von D shade and light eye contour palette and and first I'm going to be using this color called Latinus I believe is how you say it I'm not really quite sure how to pronounce some of these names but I'm just going to go in with a blending brush and I'm going to put this in my crease and then a little bit above my crease as well And then I'm just going in a little bit more with that same shade. And then I'm going in with the color Latus, I believe is how you say it. Like, I literally need, like, a manual or something to pronounce these names. And I'm just going to go in with my Sigma blending brush to blend that in. This is, like, a little bit of a lighter color. And then I'm going to go in with the color Samuel. And I'm just going to put this all over my lid. Then I'm going to go in with like this kind of like burnt orangey shade and I believe it's called Lucius but I could be pronouncing that wrong as well. <laughs> um, they're just hard to pronounce. And I'm just going to go in with this Echo Tools brush and it's kind of like a smudger brush and I'm just going to apply this to the outer corner of the eye and then I'm going to go in and blend it out with a blending brush. And then we are just going to go ahead and take the tape off. And next we are just going to go in with this Unique Moonstruck Eyeliner. It's in black. I don't know if that's the right, correct name for it or not, but that's what we're going in. And we're just going to do that on the top waterline. And then we are going to be applying some false lashes. And so to apply those, I just use the Demi Wispies in black. Next up, I'm going to be using this Maybelline Baby Skin Primer, like Pore Eraser Primer. And I'm just going to be putting this on anywhere that I have any, like, humongous pores, like, all over my nose. <laughs> going like all over. Then I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. face primer. This is in the white bottle and I'm just going to be putting this everywhere that I did not put the baby skin primer. Next I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. moisturizing foundation stick in the color natural. I've only been using this for a couple of days now and I'm actually really really liking it. You can't even feel it on the skin which I'm a humongous fan of. And then I'm just going to blend that with my Sigma Fat Flat Kabuki brush. Fat, yeah, fat. Flat Kabuki brush and I'm just going to blend that into the skin. And then I'm just going to go back in with that foundation stick and I'm just going to apply this with my fingers on any areas that I just want to cover up a little bit and just want to give a little bit more coverage. Then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Baby Skin Con... No, that's not what it's called. Better Skin Concealer. And this is in the color Light. And I'm just going to do like a little triangle type thing underneath my eyes. 
um, on my chin, on my cupid's bow, and then on my forehead, and then around my nose. And I'm just going to go in with a damp beauty blender to blend all this out. Then I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Cream Duo in the color St. Lucia. And I'm just going to be using the bronzer out of this. And I'm just going to apply this, you know, underneath my cheekbones and then on my forehead, on my chin, and then a little bit to my nose. And then I'm just going to blend everything with a damp beauty blender. Then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Powder and I am just going to apply this to my whole entire face just to set everything and I'm going to pay special attention to anywhere that I put that concealer. Then I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. contour kit, which I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's like an awesome contour kit. And I'm just going to go in with the bronzer shade, and I'm just going to bronze up my cheekbones a little bit, my temples, and then underneath of my chin. And then I'm going to go in with the contour shade and then this Real Techniques contour brush, the one like I literally use every single time because I love it so much. And I am just going to hollow out my cheekbones a little bit more. I like to really make my cheekbones stick out. And then I'm also going to put this underneath of my chin because, you know, you got to get rid of that double chin that, you know, likes to peek out. Then I'm going to go in with this Rimmel and Kate Moss Trio in the color Golden Bronze and I'm just going to be using the blush shade. I'm going to be applying it to my cheeks. And then I'm going to go in with these wonderful, amazing champagne pop and I'm going to apply it to like just above my cheekbones and then my cupid's bow, a little bit on my chin and nose, and then also a little bit above my eyebrows. Then I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. retractable eyebrow pencil in the color taupe. And I am just going to fill any sparse areas that I have on my brows because I like to you know, go in with a hefty hand whenever I am plucking my brows. It is, it's a problem. It really is. Next, I'm going to go back in with Champagne Pop, and I'm just going to put it in the inner corners of my eyes. Then I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. Smudge Pot in the color Brownie Points, and I'm just going to be using this little Ulta eyeshadow brush that I got like in a little kit that I always talk about, and I'm just going to be putting it on my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take this Sigma smudger brush and I'm just going to smoke out my lower lash line. Then 
Next, I'm going to use this L'Oreal Butterfly Effect Mascara, and this is also in waterproof, and I'm just going to be putting this on my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go back in with that same smudge pot, and I'm just going to put this actually on my actual lower waterline, even though you totally can't even see me doing this. I, like, literally wasn't even in the frame. I don't know why I didn't even notice that, but I didn't. Um, but that's just what I'm doing. I'm just putting it on my lower waterline. Next, I'm just going to curl my fake lashes and my regular lashes just so that they blend well together. And, like, you can't tell that they are fake. Next, I'm going to go in with that little bronzer shade and just this little flat brush. And I'm just going to put this like on that little dip on my bottom lip just to make my lips look a little bit bigger. And then for lipstick, I'm going to be using this Makeup Forever lipstick in the color Rouge. And I'm just going to be applying that to my lips. And then I'm just going to blend those lines just a little bit so they're not so harsh. And this is the finished result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was my first makeup tutorial of the fall season. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Bye, guys.